Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a short video here to uh, talk about an issue that I've had with the printer recently. I've uh, been having trouble keeping the bed level. Uh, whenever I try to level the bed, it's difficult, and whenever I do get it level, uh, it kind of goes in and out. And I've been having issues with that lately, and I think I found the cause. And if you have the same situation that I do, this video might help. So let me show you what's going on. So the printer's been actually working really well here uh, for about the past couple of months and I've gotten everything dialed in, I think, pretty close anyway. But the situation that I've been having is uh, keeping the bed level. And uh, whenever I try to level, it's becoming harder and harder. So I think what the culprit is are uh, these spacers. And let me zoom into it. And uh, so the spacers I'm talking about is that blue and that blue right there those two and then there's two more on the other side and basically those two spacers uh, have become warped and deformed. So to give you a better look at it there, uh, you can see the top part of it is kind of flared out and the bottom isn't and uh, the, uh, the actual spring is actually dug into that plastic piece, so into the spacer itself. So that's, uh, that's not normal, that's not the way those are supposed to be and what's happening is it's not allowing me to level the bed properly. And it's like that on all four corners. So I say this has been happening recently and also what's been going on recently is I started printing with ABS. I normally work with PLA anywhere between 65, 60, 65 C, but with ABS, I normally run it around 90 to 95 C and the spacers that I have made for the springs are actually made out of PLA. And so the heat transfers from the plate through the metal spring and through the metal uh, screw and heats up and it melts it, it kind of softens it and causes it to get squished or squished. Squished, squish, one of those. Whatever it is, it's, it's not good. So the fix for these, I think, is to use these, which are the same spacers that are in there now, except these are made out of ABS. And something else that I want to do along with that is maybe put a washer in there to kind of help disperse the load of the spring. But I need to see if I have a washer for that. Actually, I need four. So it might be kind of a little hard to tell, but this plastic piece here, which was made out of PLA, has pretty much melted and fused to the spring. So now I gotta figure on how to get that off of there. So I think maybe I can just use a screwdriver to kind of loosen it up a little bit here. That is pretty much dug in there. Hopefully I can get it out of there without damaging the spring. So you can see here that it really kind of dug into that. Lesson learned. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one back in with the new spacer and the washer. So the way this will go is the spring will go on and then the washer and then the spacer. So now that the spacer's on that one, we can put the spacer on this one. And we'll kind of find the hole here, push it down, put the knob on. I'll do the same thing on the other side and then We'll try it out. So 
So here it is. Uh, you can see that it's printing. It's printing just fine. I think that uh, what I just did here worked. So only time will tell. We'll see if it holds the uh, level. If it does, then that's going to be great. And uh, if it doesn't, then we'll have to figure out another fix for it. And that's actually a new piece to go up here. Uh, I kind of printed that one out and I, I like it and it's okay, but eh, I like the wheel better, I think. So I think everything is back to normal now, hopefully. Uh, if, it's, uh, if it's not, then I'll probably have to do another video showing how I fixed the fix. And you could probably notice that it took me several times to get it leveled, and that's not uncommon when you take the bed apart as far as what I did. Be prepared to level it several times before you uh, get it right. But uh, if you have a similar issue to what I had and uh, this helps, or uh, if you had the same issue and it helps, or maybe give you some insight as to what you can do to fix maybe uh, some other problem that you might have, then uh, please give this video a thumbs up. So anyway, I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one.